at 7.29 a.m. Modeling is a term that refers to behavioral, cognitive, and affective changes deriving from observing the actions of others. Behavioral modeling is a change in behavior as a result of direct imitation. What has just happened was that the students were rushing to get into their classroom not wanting to be late because they saw the teacher approaching it from afar. The teacher was always on time, and that affected the students' behavior in their punctuality too. A few moments later... Later. Teacher, I would like to answer to this question. So I think uh, we can improve our English by exposing ourselves to real life situations, such as watching uh, movies or listening to music in English. Yes, that's right, teacher. I agree with your answer because I think that we should put it in practice because practice makes perfect. Oh, okay, teacher. I also have some thought related to this problem. Oh, I think that. Uh, in order to improve education in Cambodia, we should like populate the benefits of uh, learning English in Cambodia more to the parents and the learners. Cognitive modeling is a change in thinking that can occur in individuals after observing models. In this scene, all of the students had been silent and hesitant to answer the question at first. But as one student spoke up, others followed her. Two thousand years later. Class, today we are going to study about Romeo and Juliet. Are you excited? So let's start. <laughs> Modeling can also result in emotional changes when a person observes a model's display of emotions, which is called affective modeling. In this situation, the teacher is enthusiastic about a lesson, which in turn affects a student's emotions, causing them to become enthusiastic about a lecture too. <laughs> <laughs> 